Hey, good morning. It's Lorraine Purcell. I had a client emergency this morning. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so I am here and um, you're just going to be with me while I'm walking a bit. So, yes. And I left my house without the Oracle cards, so I'm just gonna pull up the latest and greatest from my memory from Rebecca Campbell when we go to when we do the um, the uh, Oracle card part. So yes, this is Lorraine Purcell. Welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. We have got a nice day in Charleston. The ocean is beautiful today. I'm looking at it right now. As soon as I come back downstairs, I will, um, I will show you. Okay. Yeah, so you know, this is a good example. We can ground to Mother Earth. We can do all this stuff no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing. It doesn't have to be in a certain place. You know, I ground all the time in my car when I'm driving. Um, so here I am in the elevator. I'm grounding tuning into Mother Earth. And she's saying, yeah, stay the course. Stay the course. Can I show you this amazing view? Isn't that amazing? Here you go, love. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. You don't want to open this jacket? No, I'm Maybe. good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Thanks. I'll be. I'll right. see you in a bit. Right, sweetie. Thanks. Bye. Okay, love. Yay! I love her. I love all my clients. Okay, I'm going to show you this view again. Okay. Can I turn this around? There we go. You see that? Okay. Oh, I should have taken the stairs. I like to take the stairs. I'm going to take the stairs. Yes! So it's all about doing things exactly the way we want all the time. Okay, like right then, I pivoted. Oh, I would have rather have taken the stairs. So I turned around and I went a little bit further just to do the stairs. So it's saying yes to us. And I want you to just put your hands on your heart right now and say, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. So you're going to hear really echoey stuff now. I say yes to me. Ooh, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. But then I'm going to have to keep you in my car because I'm low on battery. <laughs> This emergency kind of caught me a little bit off guard, so my phone wasn't charged. And here I am. But that's what I love about this, is that I can do this anytime, anywhere. When I move back to California, I can take you with me. <laughs> you guys have been on road trips with me before. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So I'm just going to take you down to the ocean until the battery is like really low and then get you in the car. So what's Mother Earth saying to you? What is Mother Earth saying to you? Look at this beautiful pool. I'm going to turn around so you can see. <laughs> Through the the cage, but oh, here it is. There we go. Okay, there's the ocean. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's been a while since I've taken you guys to the beach.
<sighs> you know when you do something a lot then you get tired of it that's kind of what happened with the ocean I was down here so much hi whoever's here say hi here we are at the Atlantic Beautiful. I love these pastel colors. Love them, love them, love them. Oh, the, the sand is so soft. So I'm going to check in with Mother Earth again now that I'm settled a little bit. And she's just saying, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course. She's been saying that to me for about a year. So I'm going to put it in the comments. As soon as I stand still here for a minute. Oops. Mother Earth. Stay the course. And you know, this is something you can do constantly you can do this constantly you can check in with mother earth all day long every day you can checking in with mother earth is one of the most grounding wonderful things to do another thing i love to do is when i'm driving to um hi mary good morning i love to send whatever it is that I'm wanting to every single car and every single person that I pass. Like let's say I'm wanting to have a sense of belonging, I send that. Um, if I want financial abundance, I send financial abundance to everybody. That's another practice I do. But this grounding to Mother Earth thing, you can do it anytime, anywhere. Oh, this is so nice. Whoever else is here, say hi. Welcome, welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. Whoops, sorry. There we go. Welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. Oh, yes, I got a new computer over the weekend, and it's so much faster. Toward the end, I had my computer for so long that it ran out of Microsoft support, and it was taking, like, hours. I got the low battery thing. I'm going to have to take us back to my car. Sorry, guys. But um, I think I'm going to move the car. Oops, sorry. Turn you around. Uh, I'm going to move my car so that I can show you the ocean through the windshield. Yes. It's beautiful down here. It's not too cold. Kind of a chilly. Um, chilly breeze, but not too bad. So welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. This is when we make your dreams come true in the quantum field. And the quantum field has always been here. It's always been operating, but we've just learned about it in the, since the 1920s is when we first understood. And this is what I got this weekend. Oh my God, listen to this. The quantum field is a wave. It's just a wave. And when things, when we focus on something, that's when it solidifies and becomes a thing. So it's nothing but a wave of particles. And then when we focus on something is when the particles coagulate and become a thing. I just thought that was interesting. You know, I just love learning and understanding more about this stuff. It just helps it operate better. Okay. You're so welcome. So I love that. It's just nothing but waves of possibility. Hey, good morning. How are you? Waves of possibility. And then as soon as we focus on something, then it becomes a thing. So what is that thing that you want to bring into existence? Because anything is possible. Anything is possible.
What is that thing you want to bring in? Oops, I have some really juicy ones coming through. Kind of more long term. But what is that thing that you want to bring in? Is it financial abundance? Is it a relationship? Is it um, here? I'm going to plug this phone in first. Um, I see myself buying a house and paying it off in full. Can't wait to do that. And moving back to California and being with my sister. We've been talking about it and we're both really excited about it. Okay, so let me make sure. We should be charging. Alright, so I'm going to drive down the road to where you can see the ocean really well. Mary, what's Mother Earth saying to you? Financial independence, a living relationship, travel, and writing. Okay, perfect. So you're going to feel yourself in just this that bliss. That's like a big bliss soup, right? You're just going to feel that happening. And the other day I had a really uh, fun time standing in my kitchen with my sisters in my house. And... Um, and washing dishes in our kitchen and just feeling that and imagining it. Look, that's what we used to do when we were little kids. It was okay then, but for some reason when we get older, we're like, no, we can't do that now. We have to be adult. I think we had something when we were little. So you're gonna feel the expansiveness of financial independence. You're gonna feel the warmth of a loving relationship let's say supportive too, loving supportive of your life purpose. That's one something I always throw in there and then travel and writing. So you're just going to feel this, yeah, like, who are you? So you're going to be that person all day today. You're going to be that person all day today. You're going to imagine that you're that person. Isn't that cool? We just get to pretend, like what would, what would she wear today, Mary? What would that person wear today? And um, what would she eat for breakfast? What would she be drinking for her morning drink? So you just get to play act all day long. What, what decisions would she make? What would she buy at the grocery store? So you're just gonna play in that. And I've done that so much and it's just really, been fun. So whatever that is that you want to bring in, you're going to, it's just a wave of possibilities and then we bring it in as we focus on what it is that we actually desire. person you're just gonna be her and it as we practice the vibration that's the only way it can come to us it cannot come to us if we do not practice the vibration because here's what happens if a thing came to us and we hadn't practiced the vibration we would reject it and we would push it away because we wouldn't feel worthy that's hard to believe because we go, no, I wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't. But yes, you would. I would. That's why we have to practice the vibrations. That means just feeling as if you're that person now. Feeling as if you're that person now. This is a holiday today, right? It's Veterans Day. What is it? Veterans Day?
the sneeze. So just feel the feeling of the thing that you want to bring in in the quantum field. So you're just focusing a wave into, <coughs> pardon me, into a, um, a thing. That's all you're doing. Easy peasy. But then we get to the point where we, um, as adults, we get afraid of being disappointed, so we don't even want to go there anymore. Because we're afraid of getting disappointed. Oh, what if I get my hopes up? Eh, you just kind of have to get past that. And I know, I know, I know it's hard, but you just have to get past it. Almost to where I can park, and you can see the ocean. So we have to be like little kids and feel the vibration. Oops, I'm speeding. The speed limit on this whole island is 25 miles an hour. I suppose I could have done that. to just feel it so just be basking in this place just basking in this place just the ease when I go to this place my whole gut relaxes of the thing we want to bring in. So what is it that you want to bring in? Go ahead and drop it in the comments. I love not wearing my seatbelt on this island. I figure since it's all 25 miles an hour, eh, big deal. <laughs> you know, there's not too far you go. So I just love the freedom of not having a seatbelt on. Okay, it's right ahead. There it is. So for those of you just jumping on, we are just basking in the quantum field right now. And I am at Folly Beach, South Carolina. And I'm going to let you keep looking at the ocean. sun part. Yes, just oh, feel the grounding. I'm now that I'm parked, I'm going to ground again and just get my body in alignment. Just see those white light effervescing bubbles coming all the way up through my body, all the way up through my body, all the way up through my body, aligning everything, cleaning everything out. Anything that is toxic needs to go out <clears throat> um, we the centrifugal force of the white light energy just throws it out and then mother earth knows what to do with that everything in alignment 
everything in alignment. Uh, I'm just going to ask again to put, put your hand on your stomach and ask your stomach what it wants you to be eating more of and what it wants you to be eating less of. This is a really key thing to be asking from time to time. I ask a lot. I ask almost every time I go to put something in my mouth now. Is this, is this okay? It's kind of cool. And my, my diet has been exactly what my body has been wanting. It's, it feels really good. Yeah. And I'm starting to lose just like some bloating weight. I heard something so funny at the, at the computer store. They were talking about getting rid of bloatware <laughs> on your computer. I'm like, bloatware? Are you kidding? They're like, yeah, just all that stuff that gets on there and piles on there and you don't need it and you don't want it. It's like hilarious. You think about bloat in our bodies. Well, the bloat in my body is going down. I've been in, in an overeating jag, emotional eating for a while um, since my recent rupture. And it's been, but you know what? I'm really on the other side of it and I'm feeling so good. Just want you to know, just feeling so good. Um, so if we stay the course and we feel the emotions of the, the hard things that we're going through, and we just stay with it and stay with ourselves and don't abandon ourselves, we get through the other side of it. And it's so rewarding, so wonderful. And I'm getting there. I reached out to a bunch of friends yesterday. It felt so good. Yes. And now put your hands on your heart and just consult your heart, what your heart is saying to you. And go ahead and put it in the comments, what your heart is saying to you if you feel led. <sighs> My heart is just relaxing. It's just in this stillness. <sighs> the absence of anguish feels so good. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. There's a song I don't know the name of the woman who does it, but it's called, it goes, let go, let go. There's beauty in the breakdown. And that's what we go through is the breakdown. And we just let go. We just let go into it. We surrender into it. We surrender, we surrender into the breakdown. We let it move through us. We don't suppress it. We totally experience it, but as we experience it and are true to the emotions, emotion is energy in motion. That's what emotion is, is energy in motion. As we let that go through us, And not abandon ourselves. That's the most important thing is to not abandon ourselves. Stay having our own back. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. Hmm. So the quantum field is this place where you are nobody, nowhere. You're just one with everything. That's the quantum field of all possibilities. You're one with everything because we are actually one with everything. And from that space, and you can go, sometimes people go to the black space behind their eyes. I go into the blackness of the universe. Lately, I don't even have to do that. I just jump into the feeling. I've been practicing this for so long. And I need to put something on my lips. Um, and you just feel the feeling of the thing that you want, the thing that you desire. Remember, desire is from the Father, de sire. So don't feel bad or greedy or selfish for your desires. the sound.
sound of the ocean in here. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm going to show you again. Turn this around. So whoever's jumping on, say hi. This is Fairy Godmother Monday. We are in the quantum field. Oh. So beautiful. this before I forget. Um, I am doing an amazing workshop, a three-hour workshop on Saturday, February 29th. Um, you don't have to attend live if it's out of your time zone. It's at 2 p.m. Eastern and it's on releasing our past, forgiving ourselves and others so we can go on and soar as earth angels, ultra sensitives, and empaths. I'm all about empowering empaths, empowering earth angels, empowering ultra sensitives to keep our gifts, to keep our sensitivity. <coughs> <coughs> and be strong. Now, we are the ones that just beat ourselves up so much because we're so sensitive. We will take responsibility for everybody's thing. And so people like to put stuff on us. And so after a while, we get, um, Mary, I'll read in just a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting part of this. I'll read it in just a second, hon. Um, we uh, get into this thing where we beat ourselves up so much for the mistakes that we've made. I think that's even the harder part than forgiving others, is forgiving ourselves as earth angels. It's huge. And um, in this workshop, I'm going to show you how to let go and I'm going to show you exactly why you are innocent and why they are innocent. So we can just really get a deeper understanding of the things that go on that hurt us so deeply and alter our lives and how to actually release it. Releasing our past so that we can let go. And um, be all we're meant to be because as long as we're holding resentment and bitterness we are really susceptible to, to disease really susceptible to, to disease and we are the ones who go out early because we're so sensitive and we, we take on other people's stuff and we feel stuff from other people and then we think it's ours when it's not so um, if you want if that's calling to you right now it's on early bird and you get um, my most popular um, class, Life Purpose, uh, Finding Your Life's Purpose and the Courage to Live It. Mary, let me know if you didn't get that because um, you signed up before I think we got it on the thank you page. So um, anyway, it's a, the bonus. For right now so it's early bird it's half it's less it's more than half of what the normal price is it's a $90 workshop because it's three full hours of in-depth stuff and um, you get the video so that you can always access the um, the energy of it my live participants do not get the live do not get the video so um, you you can join me live over video live stream or just watch it later and you also get as a bonus my three-hour workshop, Finding Your Life's Purpose and the Courage to Live It. Because it's one thing to know what it is, feel your calling, but it's another thing to have the courage to stand up against the things that come up that make us go, no, no, I can't do that, I'm too scared. So um, if that's calling to you, 
the link is in the description. It's LorrainePurcell.com forward slash emotional freedom. LorrainePurcell.com forward slash emotional freedom. And I would love it, love it, love it for you to be there. We've got people piling on already in the live one. So I'm going to put it in the bubble here. So Lorraine... Purcell, P-U-R-S-E-L-L dot com forward slash, did I spell that right? E-M-O-T-I-O-N-A-L-F-R-E-E-D-O-M Emotional Freedom for, um, let's see, it's called Release Your Past Giving yourself and others. And in all my travels of uh, 25 years as a, no, it's 26 years now, I think. Nope, 25 years. Emotional freedom, release your past. Forgiving yourself and others. Three hour workshop. Three hour workshop. Early bird is on now. So um, it's less than half of the normal price right now, and you get the bonus of the. Um, my most popular other workshop called Finding Your Purpose and the Courage to Live It. But um, in my 25 years as a counselor and a coach and a teacher and guiding people, thousands of people all over the world, what I've found is that this forgiveness piece is the most important. It's like the linchpin of everything. Because if we're holding on to grudges, we're just, we're in prison. And that's not why we're here to be in prison. But these things that come up, how do we gracefully navigate them? So that's what I'm going to be going into in depth. Okay, Mary, I'm going to read your comments. Um, i got to thank you email. So I think I got the recording too. I'll check after this. Okay, very good. Let me know if you, that didn't come in. Okay, just before my breakdown, my youngest daughter lashed out at me about her childhood blaming me for things I had no control over so I really need this workshop yes 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 I so understand geez Mary I survived a breakdown and I'm coming out the other side I am worthy I deserve the best of love I deserve joy peace love happiness financial abundance that breakdown made me realize how codependent I was being how I had lost myself, but I'm on my way back. I signed up for your workshop and marked off that day from work. Perfect. It's going to be so nourishing for you, Mary. And just so you don't feel alone, we are probably the most codependent demographic, the Earth Angel, um, ultra-sensitive empath. Because we, we are so sensitive, we think we're not going to live without... Uh, this love and so and I've gone through a very similar thing so it's learning that we will be okay we will be okay we will be okay alone we will be okay without that love without that but it's a big body of work right but we're we're all in that together in this community and I appreciate you sharing because you speak for all of us You, you speak for all of us. I just want you to know that. Let's just take some uh, deep breaths now. And, and, you know, if you like, I feel some energy in my gut now after reading Mary's thing. And um, nothing about you, it's just, you know, because of the energy. So we're just going to take some deep breaths, go up, and then go down another deep breath, down to Mother Earth, 
exhale, deep breath back up through the top of your head, deep breath down to Mother Earth. We just need to send love to everybody, absolutely everybody. And when we feel ourselves in judgment or our mind, that 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 chatter going off on things, just correct it and say, no, she's beautiful. Just because everybody has their struggle. This is what I want to emphasize. Everybody has their struggle. I don't care how together their life seems. Everybody has their struggle. I am going to turn this around so you can see this ocean again. It's just too beautiful. Everybody has their struggle, and we have no idea what people are going through. We have no idea what people are going through. That's why we just have to extend grace and mercy to everybody. I call the Unity Prayer Hotline uh, often, and uh, they pray with me. And uh, what I prayed last night was just grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. That's who we embody, actually. We embody grace and mercy and the absence of judgment. And then when we go through things, like you're talking about, Mary, where we want to judge and we want to get so mad and we want to blame because they're blaming us, you let all those emotions go through you and then come back to grace and mercy, grace and mercy, grace and mercy, grace and mercy. Because even the person who's accusing you is doing their best. It's such a big, it's it, it's it, <laughs> it's it. That's the most Christ-like thing we could do. Grace and mercy. So, <clears throat> with that, I'm going to be calling in now Rebecca Campbell's greatest and latest from my memory because I, because of my client emergency, I left the house before I grabbed my angel card deck. So, gosh, all of a sudden the star seed one is coming in about being a star seed, so connected to everything in the universe we're here to transmute the energy of the planet just breathe that in we're here to transmute the energy of the planet we breathe it in we feel it we feel it so that we can transform it we are taking on the emotion on the planet that's what we're feeling when we feel things so that we can actually transmute it with grace and mercy and forgiveness. That's what we do. That's what we do. We let people be who they are. Don't try to change them. Another one that's coming to mind is um, yeah, let's just let that ground. The one about severing ties. Oh, let's do that. Let's sever some ties. Let's just, uh, now that we've got our body all clean with white light energy, just imagine yourself if you're just jumping on, cleaning your body with white light energy. Every single cell of your body is getting cleaned and illuminated by white light energy. And then once you're just completely aglow, you're going to see these cords, white light cords. You can imagine Archangel Michael, if you wish, just severing all these ties, all ties, every tie to anything, any person, place, thing, or event, sever the tie, it's done, gone. 
the love will remain, but you're releasing any sticky, codependent, needy energy. Yes. And when we come through the breakdown is when we can really appreciate the breakdown because without the breakdown, we would continue to be codependent. Yeah. <sighs> mm. So severing all those ties and now not to protect ourselves, but just to, you know, encase the energy. Circle your body in a cocoon of white light, pink light, gold light, and violet light. And I'm in my my car right now because my my car is my <laughs> my phone is charging. And so I'm doing these hip circles in the car while I'm sitting. You can do them big while you're standing or wherever you are. And this is so huge for bringing in uh, transformation to the lower chakras, which is the money and survival piece. So, You know, I have this invitation for you guys to put every Monday and Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern on your calendar because you you show up here every Monday or Friday or commit to watching the replays and your life will change because of the energy in here. <laughs> it's just an invitation to just make this a recurring event every Monday and Friday. Bookend your week with this powerful energy, knowing your power in the quantum field it will change your life. Let me show you the ocean again. The sun is on it. It's just gorgeous. You see that? There really is something to living by the ocean. The negative ions just wash up. Sorry. Hi, Harald. Nice to see you. See, am I am I reading your name right? Harad, H A R A D. Welcome from Norway. So glad you're here. Fair Welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday where we make our dreams come true in the quantum field. So you can just feel the feeling as if the thing that you are wanting to bring in. So Harad, uh, just go ahead, whatever it is that you, you want to bring in, just feel it. And the thing is the whole time we are holding this container of, the, of being basking in the quantum field. It is huge, it is huge. Like right now, looking out at this ocean, I feel like I'm in heaven. And I am. I am in heaven. I get to live here. Soon I'll get to live on the Pacific Ocean again. This is our life. It's so important not to live our life for other people, not even your children. When they're little, you have to. But once they get to a certain age, your whole job is teaching them how to be independent. And then you're you're off the hook. Let's see. Is, um, Mary, I need... Thanks, Harad. <laughs> Mary, I need to figure out a way to forgive my daughter's abuser that she secretly married with months after she told me about the abuse so I can have a relationship with her and my granddaughters. We're in truce mode at the moment. 
I never trust him or love him in the same way I did. But I need to find something. Yes, and this is what's coming to me right now about that. Oh, Harald, there you are. So glad you're here. Um, here's what I'm getting about that. Um, it's what your daughter needs right now. I know that's hard. But, and it's hard to watch. I mean, when we've gone through those, those experiences, it's because it's what we've needed. I mean, I'm not saying that's the only way we could have gotten there, but it certainly was the thing that served us most to go, oh, now I can smell an abuser a mile away. And so just honor her path. However, there are other steps to be taken if he starts, well, if there's ever any uh, physical abuse, I don't know. It's important to maybe take legal measures if you know to protect your grandkids. Definitely, that's a whole other story. But yeah, we're going to be going into that in the workshop about. And I know this is a hard one to take, but we're all innocent but he needs to be stopped if he is hurting your grandchildren. Emotional abuse is hard to take, hard to catch. Okay. So severing the ties of everything and everybody knowing that your daughter has her life to live. She has made her choice and now she gets to experience that. But keep the door open for her, for sure. Because she definitely needs you in her life. severing all the ties to codependency anybody you think you need you don't need anybody it's nice to have them but you don't need them I am angel and have now children yes Harald <clears throat> yes oh single and now have children <laughs> yes Harald it's big it's such a nothing like parenting to completely rock your world. There's nothing like it. You never loved anybody as much as you love them. And it's so hard to see them suffer like you are right now, Mary. And it's important to, um, yes, Harald is saying, yes, that should be stopped if he's hurting your grandkids. So that means legal action. So definitely keep the door open for them. Thanks for that, Harald. I know I'm probably mispronouncing your name. <sighs> yes. But I'm just sending white light, pure white light, to your daughter's house right now. Okay. Yeah, you can let go of it with her. You can let go of it with her. She's the one that has to turn him in. It's really hard to watch, I know. Really hard to watch. But just keep sending love. And then when she needs you, she knows that she can come to you and bring the, the kids. Ooh, big, 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 big. 
yeah Harald is saying it's happened all over the world it is it and we tend to be the earth angel type because the the narcissistic type will, will just smell that in us that we'll take responsibility for their shit and yeah so it's really important to get out as soon as possible as soon as you know that there's any kind of abuse yes Well, my loves, I'm going to wind this up for today. Let's take some deep breaths and let's just put white light into all of these situations that we've been talking about. Let's send to everyone around the world what we want to experience and what we want others to experience. So all around the world, safety, love, peace, deserving of safety love peace because if people don't think they deserve it if they're punishing themselves then they will invite this kind of situation so deserving every good thing and remember what we focus on so Mary when you um, oh good you're well you're so welcome Mary um, when you think about the situation all day Mary or when any of us have d tough situations we think about the situation all day instead of looking at what is this is a stretch but instead of looking at what is let's look at how we want it to be how do we want the situation to be we want harmonious relationships we want deep communication we want to be seen and heard we want to see and hear others okay so like that Oh, thank you, Harald. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. I received that. Okay, babes. I will see you here Friday morning for Body Talk Friday. Same time, same place, 8.30 a.m. Eastern um, at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. If you are feeling called to get released from your past and um, come into a deeper place of forgiveness and of yourself and others then I invite you to go to lorrainepurcell.com forward slash emotional freedom lorrainepurcell.com forward slash emotional freedom read through the six month course description and then you'll see the banner that says releasing your past thanks Harald you have a lovely day too and um go ahead and hit the submit button right now it's more than half off and you get the bonus of my really powerful workshop called finding your purpose and the courage to live it and that early bird is going away sometime soon so I would I would recommend jumping on now right now it's only $40 for this three-hour workshop you get the video recording of it you don't have to attend live um, but you can you're invited to attend live over live stream while I'm giving the class to a live audience and uh, I'll look forward to having you there because so we need to let go of this uh, forgiveness of self and others we need to let go so that we can breathe right okay my loves I love you so much sending you so much blessing and I will see you Friday this is Lorraine Purcell. Bye-bye.